This is Audra Hicks, your Tennessee Realtor. Today I wanted to go over some of the costs that buyers will need to pay uh, during the process and at closing whenever they go to buy a home. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because I put the real in real estate. So you have found the house. What what costs are you going to incur once you go under contract on a home? So number one um, is your earnest money. Whatever your earnest money deposit is uh, to show good faith in buying the home to that seller, um, that is what you're going to need to write a check out for and also have a paper trail. Have your agent explain everything to you up front and figure out how much of an earnest money deposit you will need uh, on that home. So you'll need to write the check out for that um, and get it to that title company or whoever is holding that earnest money deposit as well. So it could be $500, it could be $1,000, it could be $2,500. This week I've seen some at $4,000 and $2,000 and higher than that, $10,000. So it just depends on um, the home and what you and your agent have um, figured out that is going to be good for you to do um, as an earnest money deposit on that home. Um, next is home inspections. So a home inspection is probably going to be anywhere from $350, $400 up to um, $500, $600, depending on the size of the house and what, what all you're going to want in the home inspection. Is it going to be a basic home inspection? Are you going to need termite inspection as well, depending on your loan or whatever? Uh, you can elect to do a termite inspection, um, you know, things like that. Um, also, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of add-ons because home inspectors uh, will send you out things and ask you, do you want testing for this, 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 and this? That's going to add up in more money and cost for you. But up front, it's going to be up to you and what you and your agent have discussed on, on what you might need uh, for your current situation too. So, uh, home inspection, um, and um, you are going to need also, if you are getting lending, money for the appraisal. Some lenders have it in the loan where you do not pay anything up front, but a lot of the lenders do require you to pay that up front, so um, before closing. So you are going to need to have that. So when you go to buy a home, you are uh, also... Um, gonna probably if um, you know you have a buyer's agent there may be things uh, fees to that realtor that you will pay at closing so all of that is explained to you up front when you sign a contract with that realtor that or real estate agent that um, you know here are my fees and you know if it is not paid through the contract uh, through maybe the seller at that point, then you are responsible for X amount to that agent. So that's just a little bit of the fees that you are going to incur. Plus, you know, in your lending, all of that is usually put in the loan. So you, um, uh, there's a lot of fees in the loan that will be put in the loan. Now you are going to need your down payment uh, at closing. This is at at closing, not before closing and during the process, but at closing, you're going to need your down payment. If you're doing FHA, it's probably three and a half percent there. Uh, if you were doing conventional, anywhere from five to 20 percent or more. Um, cash, you know, you don't have to worry about all that. <clears throat> but um, closing cost also as well. And we call them all closing costs. Your down payment and closing costs are really two different things, but I hear it said so many times that closing costs are everything, which it is. It's all paid at closing. So you have on one side, you have your down payment, which is whatever it is to, you know, on the, on that part of it for your down payment. But there are going to be closing costs as well, like your points paid and, um, uh, title, insurance, um, escrowed, and things like that. So all of that can add up to about probably three or four percent of whatever the purchase price is of that house. So a lot of times you can get the seller to pay some of your closing, if not all of it, 
Um, <clears throat> sometimes you might be able to get the seller to pay some or all of the buyer's agent commission. Um, that's just, it, it's all different for each sale. So you just have to really figure that part out. Um, and uh, let's see, what else? Um, it depending on what type of loan you get. If there are some, there are some loans out there that help you with your down payment and your closing cost. So that's part of what you need to go over with your lender to figure that part out and your agent too that's helping you because we need to know what type of loan it is to know how we need to structure the offer as well and what we might need to ask for and not ask for if you already have um, all of that already in the bank and ready to do you know your closing cost and down payment and stuff so hopefully this has helped you today and if so please don't forget to hit that like button and uh subscribe and i will see y'all next time bye y'all